A lot of people, when they are talking, Daddy Gio, thank God for your humility. Thank God for your humility. I learned my lesson the hard way. You don't know who is sitting before you. Yeah. <laughs> I was poor and proud. In every area, just proud. And then there's nothing to show for the pride. Became born again. When I became born again, I was the most educated man in the church. So I became the interpreter for Papa, the general superintendent. And every other pastor left me to interpret for him. When other pastors wanted an interpreter, they took somebody else. There were quite a few interpreters anyway. Then one day, one pastor just came to me and said, Brother, you'll be interpreting for me today. Huh? Me? I didn't say it loud, though. <laughs> who, does he, who does he think he is? Asking me. <laughs> the special interpreter for the Baba? This pastor. I interpreted for him because in the redeemed Christian Church of God, a worker can't say no to a pastor. And we've had the story before. Because one of the gifts God gave me early in my Christian life was the ability to hear from him. We finished the sermon. The man didn't know how my, my heart was boiling. If he had known, he would have asked me to go and sit down. And he would have taken another interpreter. And as I was going to my car, and in those days, in the entire redeemed Christian Church of God, there were five cars. And my own was one of the newest, and it was second hand. As I was going to my car, God spoke. I said, ah, so you are now too big to interpret for my servant. And suddenly, heaven was shut. I didn't hear a word from God anymore. And the devil knew that I wasn't hearing. So he tormented me as much as he could. I pray that God will not resist you. <laughs> I wept, I prayed, I, read, I fasted, I did it, and God didn't talk. Everyone was silent. God will not be silent to you. <laughs> it got so bad that I, one day I prayed, I said, God, forgive me this once. And if I'm going to offend you again tomorrow, please kill me today. Then he knew he got me. And he started speaking again. And by the grace of God, he has been speaking ever since. Pride nearly destroyed me. And the wall fell. The wall of pride fell in my life, fell so thoroughly.